Welcome to Fortune Tech Debate, where we discuss the issues of the day in two minutes. Today we are talking about Netflix and whether Hollywood is finally ready to open its arms to the streaming giant. Eric, what do you think? If the Academy Awards are anything to go by, it looks like yes. Netflix got 10 nominations for Roma, its new movie. That's tied for the top among all the movies out there. So it seems to be that Netflix is starting to uh, earn its way into Hollywood's good graces. Yeah, it might be starting to, and it's a big feat for Netflix. I just wonder if, you know, this isn't actually the best strategy. They have one Oscar-nominated film out of how many that they put out this year, and certainly not all of them are great. I mean, you see things like The Kissing Booth, which are definitely not Oscar material, sorry. And, you know, it costs a lot to do this. I mean, they're raising prices for consumers. Maybe they're stretching themselves too thin. Maybe, but Netflix has a lot of money. They are backing a lot for the award seasons. They put up reportedly $20 million in order to convince viewers in Hollywood to uh, look at Roma for a Best Picture nomination. So if they've got that money and the prices that uh, they're charging for consumers are only going up a couple dollars, Netflix is such an institution at this point that are consumers really going to leave for just a couple dollars price raise? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe not, but at the end of the day, this is the first time it's actually seen success with this. They tried before with Beasts of No Nation and Mudbound and saw much less success those years when they tried campaigning for those films. I think Roma is a one-off and it's just too early to say that Hollywood is really on board with Netflix. I think the quality of the film will have to speak for itself. You look at Roma, when, you know, with all due regards to Mudbound and Beasts of No Nation, Roma is, in my opinion, a superior film. Um, it's got a great filmmaker, and if they're able to recruit that kind of talent, then why not? Who's going to say no to making that, especially if Hollywood has the, the money to give to it? And uh, the filmmakers, of course, want to distribute it as much as possible. But putting it on a platform like Netflix gets it in front of millions of TVs. I don't know. It was just last year that they said Netflix should be barred from festivals entirely. At the end of the day, I think it's still just too early to say. Have to see. Well, that's all the time we have. Come to fortune.com for more tech debate.